New numbers just out this morning show how Americans feel about the debt limit crisis and how our leaders are handling it. The CBS News poll shows 43 percent of Americans approve of President Obama's handling of the debt ceiling negotiations. Less than that, 31 percent approve of the way congressional Democrats are handling the talks. And only 21 percent approve of the way Republicans are handling these negotiations. And these results come as the White House's August 2nd debt limit deadline draws closer. Senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has the latest this morning. Bill, good Monday morning to you. And good morning to you, Jeff. And no talk scheduled, at least as of yet for today, and no visible progress over the weekend. This despite warnings from credit rating agencies that the nation's credit rating could drop if spending isn't cut. And that's even if there is a deal. Nonetheless, Budget Director Jack Lew remains optimistic that a deal can be worked out. I think we, there's still time to get something big done. The president has made it clear he wants to do something substantial. That's what President Obama continues to push for, a deal that would slash $4 trillion from the federal deficit over the next decade and increase taxes on some corporations and wealthy Americans. Congressional Republicans vote Tuesday on their plan called Cut, Cap, and Balance. It would revert spending back to 2008 levels and cap the budget at 18% of gross domestic product. It also calls for a balanced budget amendment, a provision Democrats say is dead on arrival. We don't need an amendment. We basically need to accept the responsibility to do this job and to lead. But neither the president's plan nor the Republicans' cut, cap, and balance plan is likely to pass. So Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and Majority Leader Harry Reid are working on a bipartisan proposal of their own called Plan B, or the fallback option. It would allow President Obama to raise the debt ceiling by $2.5 trillion on his own and possibly cut the budget by about a trillion and a half dollars. The fallback option might have a hard time getting through the Republican House. And Senator Tom Coburn, known as a deficit hawk, told Face the Nation's Bob Schieffer he wouldn't support it either. I think the McConnell plan is, is more of Washington not taking responsibility for what, it, it's a great political plan. It, it takes the pressure off all the politicians, and, but allows us to pass a debt limit without making the hard choices that this country has to make. Senator Coburn's got his own plan, which he'll announce today. He wants to cut up to $9 trillion over the next 10 years. Meanwhile, uh, sometime this week, they've got to come to a decision because the deadline really is toward the end of the week so they can get it all done by August 2nd. It'll very likely be some version of Plan B. Jeff? Okay, Bill Plant at the White House this morning. Bill, thank you.